Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Kevin, and thank you for watching another one of my videos. Today we have a little package from Japan that we're gonna unbox, and I am very excited because I bought this late April. Uh, we're what halfway through July right now. This finally came. It has been on a boat for two and a half months, and I can't wait to unpack this. Um, two concerns. One, uh, yeah, this packaging is kind of flimsy. This is probably the worst packaging I ever got from Japan. And concern number two is the biggest concern, and that is that this was opened by Dutch Customs, as you can see. And the worst thing of all is that they didn't bother to uh, tape this back nicely, um, as you can see. It's really part of the book sticking out and as you can see uh, with this corner it is damaged like really I mean you pay a lot of money to have this shipped from Japan to the Netherlands and then Dutch customs be like yeah we don't care <sighs> well anyway let's unpack this because I can't wait to see uh, what the books look like here we go Okay, I'm gonna use the rusty old scissors. Um, let's see how I'm gonna do this. Well, at least there's a bit of bubble wrap in here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it looks so pretty. Pretty good condition. Yep, 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 yep. Whoop, whoop. And as you can see, we have the complete series off. Let it rip. Bakuten Shuto Beyblade, aka Beyblade. Oh man, I'm so excited to finally have this. Ah oh, man. Ah, look at these. Okay. So, uh, this is the uh, Kombini Ban of Beyblade. And uh, in this one, they collect the original 14. Tankoban volumes into five omnibuses. So this was the convenience store version. It's a pretty cheap version, but uh, I don't really mind because Beyblade in Japan is just like in the US out of print. Like really, I mean the original 14 volumes, you can only get them used and they can go for nah well not I wouldn't say a lot of money, but you know they're they're kind of rare that you don't see them pop up that often on auction websites and when they do they're uh, yeah a, li a little bit over what I want to pay for them and uh, I finally found this set it popped up on an auction and it, I mean it's a convenience bond that's probably even more rare because convenience store versions they're they're like magazines you know they're, they'll be in the convenience store for a week or two and then bam when the next volume comes out they'll be gone and uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, um, in the meantime, in the last two and a half months, I've seen only one set appear on Yahoo Auction. One complete set of Beyblade. It was the singles, and it was an actual rental copy, and it didn't look that good. So uh, yeah, I'm very glad that I got this, and I got this for a very good price as well. So uh, I mean, uh, let's unpack these bad boys. Ah oh, man, they look so pretty. They're in very good conditions for uh, for omnibuses. I mean, can't see any damage on the spines. I think the only damage that's on here is the one from Dutch Customs. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of extra cutting. This is volume one. Okay, well, we also have a little paper in here. What does it say? What does it say? Is it? It doesn't say anything. It's probably just there for safety, whatever. Okay, so we have volume one. This is what the spine looks like, and as common with combini bands, the back has a has a what do you call it? an ad advertisement. Um, let's see. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at it. The original stickers are still in here. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, these are definitely in good condition. Wow, I'm 
very surprised. And these spines are way better than the ones from the German omnibuses, the German free ones. They have pretty... Oh, whoa, look at that. These spines don't crack. This is not look Fizz, Carlson, Tokyo Pop, really. Guys, look at these spines. This is how you do it. These are good spines. Okay, volume one. We also have volume two. At least I hope it's volume two. And on the back we have a... Uh, an advertisement for Baylet Burst. Um, next up, is this volume 3? I, I don't even know if it's volume 3. Wow, it's not even written on there. <laughs> volume 3. And we have what I hope is volume 4. <laughs> Oh man, these are good condition, man, damn. And the final volume, volume 5. Oh man, I'm so surprised. I never, never, oh man, I've never. Look at these. These are like, almost like crisp white. These look brand new. As if, as if, as if I've bought these. I mean, I mean, I've gotten omnibuses from Amazon that look worse like this. Look at it. Wow. Oh man, I'm so glad to finally have these. Um, oh man, Beyblade was really a big part of my childhood in the Netherlands. We had this short but very big Beyblade boom in the early 2000s, probably 2002, 2003. Uh, we had the anime, I, I found him. I still have the first two DVDs. These are the only ones that came out in the Netherlands, volume one and volume two. Only six episodes, unfortunately. and. But I, I did buy them back in the day because I love Beyblade and I mean these are pretty old because look at that also available on DVD and VHS VHS wow um, yeah I really love Beyblade we had the anime on a channel co called uh, Your Kid In oh, well it was a channel called Your In but it had this uh, uh, kids block called Your Kid In Ooh, nice pun um, and we had this small but very big Beyblade boom and all the kids, I mean, at that time I was, what, 11 years old, maybe 12. So I was straight in that Target demo. Uh, you know, we we buy the Beyblades. I mean, all, me and all the other kids, we probably had like one official Beyblade. And those were kind of expensive. And then all the discounter stores, they would have these cheaper knockoff Beyblades. But we, we'd buy those because they were only like two, three bucks, something like that. And... Oh my god, and they were a lot stronger than the than the official Beyblades. I'm not sure because it was crappy materials or something like that, but we buy them and we like that free two one letter rip, you know, all the stadiums. Oh man, such a good time, such a good time. And what's even more remarkable is that uh, the biggest uh, chips, potato chips uh, manufacturer of the Netherlands, uh, Lays and Smiths back in the time, um, they would have these things in every bag of chips called Beyblade spinners. Uh, I hope I can find a picture of them. Uh, little, they were like pox, but you'd have this stick, you could put it in there, and so they would be, you know, some kind of uh, Beyblade-like. You could even buy this little little stadium and use them. And oh my God, we would buy so much chips just to get the spinners, oh my God. And it was so cool because it didn't even matter if you like Beyblade or not. Even even if you were like a five-year-old or an eighty-year-old, I mean, you would get Beyblade stuff with your bag of chips, and that's that's pretty amazing because uh, in the Netherlands we had this little pog hype, like flippos. It's probably some kind of pogs, and you know back in the days we only had Looney Tunes in the nineties, and then they had this little revival with Pokemon, and then they did Beyblade, and that's what they did. Like like Looney Tunes. Think of it, Looney Tunes. Like, wow. Pokemon, WoW, and Beyblade, and after that, I think they quit putting stuff in bags of chips, unfortunately, because they were they were really nice collectibles. Um, yeah, but I'm 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 so glad to finally have these. Um, what uh, I actually have one volume of Beyblade. Um, um, I have the uh, first volume of Beyblade in in German, and it was released by uh, what's it called, Planet Manga. Uh, in 2003, 
um, I picked this up at a little, what's it called, kind of like magazine store. Mag it wasn't really a magazine stand, it was a magazine store, I guess, a little kiosk, something like that. And uh, back in 2003, um, I think Planet Manga, they wanted to make this kind of like a monthly release. But apparently it didn't sell well and it was discontinued after five volumes. I only have volume one because this was the one that was the most current one um, that was out at that time. And uh, yeah, what's cool is that <laughs> it's the same cover. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I mean, that's also why I have the cap on, you know, like, like it's like me. I'm, I'm a babe later. Let it rip. But yeah, very cool, very cool. Um, so I'm glad that, you know, this is this is 2003, you know, 2003. So I'm glad that now, I mean, 17 years later, I finally have a complete set of Beyblade. And oh my God, I'm not disappointed only with Dutch Customs because, wow, like, like, look at these. These are crisp wide. Oh my God. I mean, compared to my, uh, my old Beyblade volume, which isn't even that yellow either. I mean, wow. I mean, these, these look amazing. Oh my God. They're, they're, they're slightly bigger than uh, regular Japanese volumes, I think. Let's see, Dr. Stone. Ah, not that bad, just, just a little bit, just a little bit bigger. Not that bad. Um, let's put this back here where it belongs. So these omnibuses were released in 2016 wow that's not even i mean four years ago july 2016 that's like four years ago that's not that bad i mean but they're still in good condition um don't see these that often because of course they're combini bonds um pretty cool to have these I, I think i like these probably like these even more than the uh original ones especially because i mean i'm usually not a big fan of omnibuses i do buy omnibuses but i mean look look another volume look at that spine look at it Look at how sturdy that spine is. Oh my god, look at it. It's still straight. Wow. Wow. Like, awesome. I mean, Beyblade. Oh my god. I'm gonna, gonna put a little picture here somewhere with the with the with what they look like together. Oh my god. I, I like how these look on their shelf. Wow. Wow. Pretty cool. And actually, the um, writer of uh, the mangaka of Beyblade is currently working on a sequel to Beyblade. It's called Beyblade Rising. And it's serialized in a magazine called the Koro Koro Aniki, which is like the big brother Koro Koro. Uh, I think this the original Beyblade was, was uh, serialized in the regular Koro Koro magazine. The catch is that the Koro Koro Aniki only comes out three times a year, which means there's only three chapters per year. Wow. So, uh, Beyblade Rising started serializing in 2016. That's when the first uh, chapter came out, 2016. And it's currently 2020, it's, it's been four years now and uh, all the chapters up to now have been collected in two Tankobon. I mean, two volumes in four years. That's like like one volume every two years. So I guess I have plenty of uh, time to do my catching up. Because I mean, um, even even if I even if I take two years to read this, there will probably only be one extra volume out of Beyblade Rising. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I have more packages coming up from Japan. Uh, I have two more packages on the boat. I hope that the first one will be here in about two, three weeks and the other one will probably be here another two, three weeks later. And they have even more volumes. I mean, uh, well, let's, I mean, just, just wait for it. It's gonna be very cool, very cool, very nostalgic titles. I mean, ah, oh, man them for a great price so i can't wait to unbox those um yeah uh i'll see you guys again probably with the normal monthly whole video at the end of the month and you know thank you for watching these once again uh, if you like what you see just you know put a thumbs up comment whatever do what you want if you don't like me don't do anything i don't care <laughs> okay well uh, thanks again and uh 
all I'm gonna say for now is bye bye.